Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly here and today I'm gonna unbox on this portion the Pokemon Go Plus Plus <laughs> This is what the back likes and it even just says that it's gonna help track your sleep for Pokemon sleep and that is why I basically got it because I really want to play Pokemon sleep because I really kind of want to track my sleep I think it'd be a fun way so I'm very curious to see what this is like. I did hear when people were originally playing Pokemon Sleep when it came out like a week or two ago that if their phone was basically getting heated because <laughs> you have to put it right next to like your pillow and so they can hear you sleep. Um, so I can track obviously your sleep. So I'm like I'm gonna wait to play Pokemon Sleep until I actually was able to get my hands well my order shipment and for the Pokemon Go Plus. Now originally I also had I think it's called the Pokemon Go Plus is with the wrist and you just push the button each time you were playing. I originally actually had that and then that Pokeball from um, Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. I have that as well but I actually sold because the wrist because I got the Let's Go Eevee thing um, when I bought Let's Go Eevee. So <laughs> I wish I kind of kept it because I think it would have been cool but I did not. I sold it, but we're gonna get the tape off this and see what it looks like. And there's a Mew, and then I just saw a Butterfree right there too. I don't just and obviously there's um, Snorlax and Slowbro. Ah, ah, ah. But again, I am curious to see what my sleep is like, so I'm gonna use this tonight. And I am going to report back eventually in my sleep for tonight, tomorrow, and that way kind of get a feel of what Pokemon sleep is like too because I'm really curious to see what it's like and if I should actually keep the app or not too um, because I have so many games, well not so many games, I only have Pokemon Go and Disney Sumsum but it, I try not to use my phone as much anymore. Like, I'd rather try to do things. <gasps> the wrapping is so adorable. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm really glad I got this. Is it like. It's like, don't tell me I get a Pikachu as well, but. No, it's. Okay, so it's a clip to help keep the thing in place. I was like, don't tell me I get a little Pikachu buddy. So you get a wristband, like the um, one that you would get from the Pokeball um, with Let's Go Eevee. They give you a little clip probably for when, like, when you're sleeping. You can clip it onto your um, pillow. Oh! Might have to charge it, guys. They gave us a charger, which is good to know. Because I was wondering, I'm like, do we, how is this going to happen? So they give you a charger, which looks like almost like the regular Nintendo Switch charger. That's good. And now the main portion. <laughs> and look at the stars, too. I forgot to show you guys how, seriously, like, Nintendo really did well on this wrapping. I am surprised. And the funny thing is, too, beginning of this year, I was like, are we actually going to get Pokemon Sleep? Like, seriously. I know they announced in, like, 2018, 2019, maybe. But I'm like, is it actually even going to be a thing? So you take the filming off. Sorry, guys. I'm talking and doing this at the same time. And you get the manual, too. Yeah, so get the manual as well. Um, so it will be Bluetooth, so that's cool. And you'll have to charge it right there, which actually I should probably start charging it for tonight. I think I'm going to do that. Um, but that is <laughs> right now, which I think this is kind of cute because it kind of reminds me of, if you can see the brown stripes, I'm trying to get in... Well, there's brown stripes on it, which kind of reminds me of Pikachu, which is probably why they did it. Anyways, you know what? I'm going to be... 
One of those people, I'll see if I can get it through. Yeah, now I need a pen. Alrighty. Oh boy. Because you're supposed to connect it. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to have to get a pen. But anyways, this is really cute. This reminds me of Pikachu, which is probably why they chose that color. Then they give you a charger, which is really nice. <laughs> I really don't want to get rid of this box. It is adorable, but I'm going to anyways. I don't need it. But I'm definitely keeping the instructions too. So um, I'm going to quickly charge it before I get it. Charge and pair system before using it. Okay, yeah. So make sure before you use it, charge it for a couple hours. That's what I'm going to do. It literally says it right there, guys. So please charge it if you're going to use it. <gasps> you can set an alarm and Pikachu will wake you up. When I go back to work to Monday night, Tuesday, I might have to try that. Mm -hmm. I will be curious to see how that reacts to my hearing because I'm, I'm hard of hearing so I cannot hear text in my sleep. If you call me, it's fine because it's multiple bing, 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 bing. And usually with my phone, knock on wood, I've been fine waking up to the alarm on my phone. I do have my actual alarm clock radio too because there's been times when I've been sick and I cannot hear it because my ears are congested. That has helped. So having two alarms is good. I might have to see if Pikachu can wake me up. That would be adorable. So yeah, um, I'm going to go charge it guys and we will talk tomorrow about more of Pokemon sleep and let's see if maybe if I can catch a Pokemon in my sleep I don't know but we're gonna find out how interesting this game is because I am curious uh, I did like I said I don't want to play it because it burns a lot on your phone apparently and I'm just afraid I just don't want to play with plugs in my apartment while my phone is charging so there's that but this is the Pokemon Go Plus that they give you everything, which is very nice. <laughs> it's good that they give you this too, just in case. And the instructions. I'm going to let you guys go. We're going to talk tomorrow morning about the game and how much sleep I got. Because I'm very curious on how much sleep I would get. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, it is the next day and I actually slept with the... Pokemon Go Plus Plus on my pillow and <laughs> when I had on my pillow at first I was a little terrified because I feel like either I'm going to break it or it's going to fall off but it did actually very interestingly counted my sleep so it is crazy I'm trying to get the information up here so, sleep data. I fell it says I got 5 hours and 48 minutes of sleep last night, which I tried to do it again, but it just, once I woke up, but things just got a little discombobulated, apparently, and didn't read it. But, so this was from, fell asleep apparently around 12.14, woke up at 6.02, and my Apparently there's a type that you can get for your sleep and in it I got snoozing type which is so cute. A little Charmander sleeping. So this is my tracking data. I just honestly so slumbering 34%, snoozing 56 and dozing 10. Like I feel pretty accurate guys like I don't know how it does this but it took me a while to fall asleep last night I was on my phone um before doing this but and I think too this is really interesting too so there is a sleeping types and one of them is the diglet that sleeps on the ground I like bury myself in my covers <laughs> I'm wondering if it actually read that or not because I had my covers over even one of my sister's best friends when she slept over one time um for stuff and then she was like apparently she's like Molly 
where are you? Like, I went to bed early. Like, she couldn't even tell. Like, I was in the bed. Like, I was just curled up. So, <laughs> and it's just face scratching and sleep scratching. I honestly, like, find scratches sometimes on my stomach. I'm wondering if it actually read this because that would be crazy, guys. I think, honestly... A good week of tracking your sleep with this would be actually really good. And this doesn't obviously overheat or anything. I had no issues on it on my pillow. I just placed, pressed the button once when I before I fell asleep. It's a cute little, I would play it, but I don't want to mess up my data. It's a cute little Pikachu snoring, going to bed. And when you wake up, it's like, Pika! So you will press it again and be Pika! Um, but... If you're really interested in your sleep like I am lately, because I've been reading a lot about how we should all get the 7 to 8 hours of sleep. And to get a better sleep score on Pokemon Go, what you want to do is sleep for 8.5 hours, which I don't know to me. Some days I do need that amount of sleep, some days I don't. And like I said, everyone's different when they're asleep, but if you want to track your sleep. I think this little gadget in the game amazing. This is just for one night. I'm curious as I keep going if I'll get any different data and see what it's like. And it's cute because when you go back into the app you can feed Snorlax some berries that Pikachu picks and stuff and the more you feed it the bigger it grows and apparently probably different Pokemon come <laughs> but I am very <laughs> interested to keep going I'm having fun with this game if you are really into Pokemon and you want to study your sleep this is one of the best and coolest gadgets ever guys and the packaging as you could tell it was just adorable like Nintendo A plus for packaging like seriously and I actually like how it's a little this too. You just put it on your pillow. You don't really have to worry about it unless you move a lot, which sometimes I do, but um, just to get the fluffy side. But I was perfectly fine having this on my pillow last night. I believe you probably need to charge this every other night. So like two nights and then charge it because you do need to charge it. I charged it. Last night before I went to bed, so it was all set, so I'll probably need to charge it. I'll charge it tomorrow night when I'm all done using it. So, you want to, like I said, hit. You'll get Pikachu in a lullaby. When you wake up, hit it again, and it will have Pikachu wake up. Pika! And then you can put it in your app whenever you're ready. And I just honestly, I think so far, and this is just one night, it is scary accurate like guys <laughs> I'm like oh my god when I read my sleep data but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had fun creating this video and I can't wait to keep playing more Pokemon sleep I was really interested when they actually announced it a couple years ago that they're coming out with this because like hey, it'd be interesting to track your sleep and what it's gonna be like I honestly thought like drowsy or jigglypuff would be the mascot but apparently in Snorlax, which is obviously makes sense as well. <laughs> I just find it, it's adorable because you watch the Pokemon sleep and you can just hit them and see what type of sleep type it is. And it's just so cute. And I'm, I just love the Growly too. Growly, Growly. Um, and the Rattata was cute too. Other than that, I'll get let you guys go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!